10 Things You Should Never Google Thanks to the emergence of Google in 1998, the internet becomes a place where you can search for nearly anything you dream of. For instance, if you want to shop the latest invention, you can do it easily from the comfort of your home. You can search for the features, price, shipping cost and all other things online. Although you are free to search anything at all, you might want to caution yourself and limit your search to certain things. Why? You see, Google records what you search and uses that information to figure out your full profile and target certain ads towards you. As explained by Google's privacy terms and conditions, when you click on a search result in Google search, your web browser also may send the internet address or URL or the search results page to the destination web page as the HTTP referrer. The URL of the search results page may sometimes contain the search query you entered. The implication of this is that controlling your privacy online might be a bit difficult because Google has access to certain information such as your location, time zone as well as your searched history. Also, there are certain things you just don't need to bother your little head with or get yourself involved in. Anyway, let's get to it. In this video, we'll be sharing with you 10 things you should never Google. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. How to make a bomb or anything criminal Perhaps out of pure interest and curiosity, you might feel the need to search for things like how to make a bomb or how to make amphetamines. However, just before you get too inquisitive and type out those words on your search engine, here's something to consider. Well, you might not get a knock on your door from the FBI if you do this but your IP address might get added to a database for anything from 5 to 10 years. And you know what? It's worse if you continue a repeated search. So the next time you want to type those criminal related words on your search engine, you should take a moment to ask yourself if you want to get in trouble because of your curiosity. I'm sure you don't. So don't Google it. 2. Anything that indicates your location You'll be surprised how much Google knows about you with all the information you keep providing online. In 2006, when AOL, a large set of searches that had been conducted on its sites, certain information that identified searches, hometowns, neighborhoods, age, sex and other identifying details through their searches wasn't difficult to identify thanks to the search engine Google. According to Jay Stanley, who reported for the ACLU, the result was an electrifying sense of just how intimate and revealing the information one shares with a search engine can be. Over time, our innocent searches when put together can be sold by some mega corporations to bodies in need of certain information about us. 3. Skin Condition Have you ever tried searching about a particular skin condition online? If you have, you probably know how disturbing some of the images can be. If you're experiencing any kind of skin problems such as itchy skin or rashes, why not visit your doctor for medical help instead of searching it out online and become emotionally disturbed? 4. Your symptoms or any other health condition This is one of the scariest things to check online. There are a lot of health content on different websites which are not even managed by medical professionals. So, most of the information provided is nothing but superficial information. For instance, if you suspect that you have cancer, guess what? Google will simply confirm your suspicions and put you in panic mode. So, if you are really worried about a medical condition, do not ask Dr. Google. Go see your doctor instead. According to Tim Liebert, a doctoral student at the University of Pennsylvania's Annenberg School for Communication, he found out that over 90% of the 80,000 health-related pages he looked at exposed user information to third parties. 
The result also indicated that 72% of internet users in the United States look up health-related information online. Do you know what advertisers do with, with this info? Google collects information from 78% of the pages that Libert looked at, which gives advertisers an easy way to figure out that a user has specific health issues. 5. Dangerous Animals There are a lot of dangerous animals on Earth and searching through a list like that can create new phobias for you. It can even cause you to start seeing images in your head, make you a little jumpy at the slightest touch. Now, you don't want that for yourself, do you? 6. Your Name Okay, sometimes we are tempted to know what people think about us or what potential employers know about us. Hence, we search for our own names. The problem with this, however, is that we might end up leaving the page feeling a bit down because we end up finding information that we are not satisfied with. First, we'll probably find 1001 other people who bear the same name as we do, achieving all sorts of fantastic things that we are not even close to achieving. This can be a little frustrating. 7. Giving Birth This is mostly for those who are yet to give birth. We've seen it in movies, women yelling and crying for help in the process of giving birth. Even in those movies, it looks stressful and not so much of a pleasant sight. Now, imagine the real process. It can be discouraging and disturbing, especially if you are yet to give birth. 8. Your Insecurities Searching for anything that gives away your insecurities might not be a wise decision. Our insecurities are emotional feelings of inadequacy. Revealing this to Google makes us vulnerable to advertisers who will do anything to sell their products to us. Any information you give to Google about your insecurities will be used against us at some point. For instance, if you are fat, don't go to Google to ask, what can I do if I'm too fat? because advertisers will only use this to sell their various weight loss products to you. It is easier to sell something to a person's emotions than it is to sell to logical reasoning. 9. Things to do before you die This applies to pessimists more. Searching for things to do before you die will make you feel like you've wasted a good part of your life since you haven't done half of what's on the list. However, if you are an optimist, you can give it a try. 10. Google Have you ever thought about what will happen if you search the word Google? <laughs> Nothing really. It will probably be a mere waste of your time because the entire information you'll find will be about Google search itself and some other Google product you don't even need. Thank you for watching our videos. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this.